Welcome back everybody, here we are for more Monster Train. Last time we did a challenge, it's time to go back to a regular run with random of course and see if we can keep our streak going. So let's depart and see what the tracks bring us today. Alright, we got Stygian Hellhorn, both old school. Uh, Helical Crystallis, nice card to start with. Can often end up being a powerful finisher spell. Of course, we get our frozen lances and torches, so plenty of damage spells there. Uh, molting imps, already a wee early as well. <clears throat> Guardian amulet, perhaps the odd man out. We don't have any synergies with it right away, but maybe we can make something happen, and it is sometimes good enough to just cast this on its own. So first things first, as always, uh, check our artifact. And we have either jack strips or the rail hammer. Uh, big fan of jack strips early in the game. They can uh, really help you on those big heavy floors of weak units. Uh, makes our multi imps a little bit redundant, but that's totally okay. Uh, whereas the rail hammer has some synergy sometimes, but uh, early on not the best. So we'll take the jack strips and go ahead and uh, take a look at our champion. And take a look at the boss while I remember about it. Looks like we have a uh, Seraph that will weaken our units. Not too big of a deal, hopefully. Though we have to watch out. I often like to uh, use some of the sweepers from the Stygian, and um, this boss can sometimes drop them all the way down to zero attack, which makes them bad. But for now, we'll take Frostbite Tethys over Spell Weakness. Uh, much bigger fan of that one. Can just really kill bosses uh, pretty effectively, and if you can pick up sweep with it later, that can be good as well. But again, Stygian has plenty of sweep on their own already, so uh, I'd rather just have a, a champion that can deal some serious damage to a boss. Alright, spikes. Pretty dangerous. Uh, means, again, Tethys is going to have a hard time, but I think I'm willing to give it a shot. Uh, the Jack strips should really help out quite a bit. And Tethys may simply have to uh, wait his turn and come back around here. Uh, let's think. Yeah, there's I guess no reason not to just blast this for as much as possible. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna not play. Well, maybe I played on the top floor, but chances are I won't be able to kill this disciple before it gets up there. Unless I draw like Helical Chrysalis, so I'm actually gonna try to let this cycle back around. Alright, there's the collector. Uh, I do need to deploy some of these stewards, so I'm going to have to spend a little bit of energy doing that, and I would like to kill this as well. So then it's just a frozen lands somewhere. I guess here makes the most sense. That will guarantee our pyre kills it in one hit after it gets hit by this steward. Okay, here's the chrysalis. Um, I'll just fire this on this one, since we haven't gotten any damage on it yet. And then, um, let's see, we have another steward coming up. So I'm actually gonna let this one kind of hang on his own, um, play another one here, and maybe try to get a fresh set of stewards in the middle floor. Alright, the second chrysalis is really nice here. A third of the boss's health right there. Uh, go ahead and play this guy. Alright, there's one more, or I could uh, hit him with the Guardian's Amulet, but I think 50 damage is just more what I'm uh, interested in. And it looks like we probably won't quite get the kill here, but. Oh, never mind, we drew. <laughs> we drew this again, so. Basically killed the boss with spells there, that's totally fine though. Took 5 damage, not uh, too bad. And let's see what we can get here. We got a Flash Freeze Offering Token, Energy Siphons Offering Token, obvious synergy with Guardian's Amulet, but that's kind of it. 
Uh, beyond that is just uh, a nice way to filter your cards. Uh, energy Siphon, kind of interesting with the Chrysalis, maybe. Does make them pack quite a lot more punch. And Flash Freeze, generally a card I enjoy, but with all the torches and jack strips, it shouldn't be too necessary here, so. Um, this is probably my favorite card of the bunch overall, but it doesn't fit in this deck very well, I don't think. So, it's between these two. Um, energy Siphon can be a little bit low impact, so... Uh, I'll, I'll try an Offering Token. I think having one or two floating around your deck is generally um, pretty acceptable. And Hidden Passage looks good here as well. This is the sort of deck where stacking one big floor can end up being pretty powerful. We're, we're not playing any factions that want to like play creatures over and over, maybe outside of a couple of Imps, but that usually doesn't pan out too well unless you have the um, Imp Champion, so... Uh, big fan of Hidden Passage in general. And now I have a good chunk of cash to spend, so let's see if we can find a unit and improve it. We get large stone, hard stone, battle stone, okay. Alright, and if you've watched my streams before, you know I'm not a huge fan of Steelworker. Uh, that resolve just doesn't end up gaining you all that much over the course of a battle. Had we picked up the hammer, it would be a little bit more interesting, but uh, as is, definitely taking the Horned Warrior. And let's see. Do I want to put a large stone on this Horned Warrior? I don't think that's the ideal target. Uh, I do like a battle stone on it, just so it can survive um, sweeps and spikes and things. And then I might reroll here. Kind of depends on where we're going next. Let's see, probably going this way. So yeah, I'll take a reroll and see if I can't find something good. Quick is interesting, but I don't think quite good enough still. So I'll just go ahead and give this uh, 10 more attack. It ends up being a solid DPS unit. Nothing spectacular, but should get the job done. And on to the next battle we go. As usual, when I have Pethys, we get the sweep boss, go figure. Um, and the enemies are getting extra armor. Well, this is a little tough. The the armor means our jack strips aren't very good, and sweet boss is pretty strong against um, both our champion and our horned warrior. Our main source of damage here. So this is a little bit scary. Um, we want the apprentice. I'm gonna try this, but expect to take uh, potentially a lot of damage. Molting Imps are kind of interesting here. Uh, they can help us kill this Foot Soldier. Um, I think I'll try to set up something on the middle floor. And then, yeah, I think I just play both Imps down here. I should kill the small units when they change floors. getting a kill here, that's good news. Uh, I do want to play a steward to just absorb some more hits and just wipe out this big unit or get close to it anyway. Alright, uh, we got our nice synergy here so might as well do that. Let's return to the survive and kills all the important stuff, so let's see, I could still, I guess, save some health by doing this. Uh, so why not? And these don't unfortunately matter. Alright, Chrysalis is pretty good here. Um, this, 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 this foot soldier is actually going to be a little bit scary, but uh, it's not ton I can do about it. I guess I'll hit it. Alright, we're only using 40. Uh, again, not being able to take out this soldier is definitely hurting. If I torch it two more times, it will at least die by the time it gets the pyre, which is something. 
And yeah, unfortunately the boss is going to hit us, uh, or Pyre, a few times, but just not a lot I can do about it. Alright, that's a really good draw. Let's play that, and yeah, that should reduce um, a little bit of what's coming in here. Yeah, it's going to be three hits no matter what, so it doesn't really matter what I do with the rest of these cards. Just took a bit more damage there. Um, the trial kind of hurt in that we couldn't kill the archer. We might have gotten an extra hit out of our Horned Warrior had we been able to, so that definitely cost us, but I think it was hopefully worth it. We'll see what unit we get here. Right, another crystal is another offering token and a mollusk mage as well. <coughs> um, all interesting options. The mage is pretty good in our deck. We have obviously just millions of damage spells. So I might be interested in trying to make that work. Um, don't know that we need a third one of these, though they are good. And offering token, again, we don't have that many synergies quite yet. Uh, let's go with the mollusk mage. I, I can see that doing something here. Uh, this one's going to be a skip for me. I'm not too interested in playing a bunch of imps, and Hornbreak is an effect we already have uh, plenty of similar copies of. Alright, do we want a Titan Sentry, another Horned Warrior, or a Consumer of Crowns? The Consumer we can't really deploy, so that one's kind of off the table. Um, so it's a matter of second DPS unit, or this admittedly not incredible tank. Where am I going next? Going to a Stygian banner and a Hellbent. I think because I have jack strips, I'm less interested in Titan Sentry than usual, so I'm gonna just take another Horn Warrior. They're totally fine. See if we can pick up a Stygian tank, maybe. Okay, Guard of the Unnamed is exactly the sort of thing I'm looking for. We'll be able to set that up, play a bunch of spells with it, uh, maybe put a Mollusk Mage on the same floor or something like that. Uh, let's see, let's go to the cavern before we go to any duplicates. Maybe we pick up a good spell to duplicate or some sort of improvement. Ooh, okay, well, I'll take Dante's Candles for sure. Uh, unfortunately, you can't quite duplicate Dante, so... Okay, this changes the landscape of things. Now we have a Dante we're gonna want to park somewhere. Um, so DPS units suddenly became a lot less valuable. Uh, that said, what am I looking to duplicate in this deck? I think Hidden Passage might be a good duplicate. We have so much DPS, um, we're gonna want to try to get it all in one floor, I think. Dante, unfortunately, also uh, doesn't perform super well against this particular version of the boss, but he's, it should still be powerful, I think. <coughs> and here comes Talos. And again, we'll let the Jack Strips uh, do a lot of the work for us and um, try to elevate our units up to the top floor here. Play the candle for sure. Let's see. So I'm gonna want guard plus horned warrior plus champion at the top. Um, I think I'll play these two at the top to begin with. These frozen lances, unfortunately, not doing much. Help and find our tank here. We did. Didn't find any spells to go with it, but uh, can hopefully take it just a hit for now. Get one of these guys, and I think I'll play a candle. Ouch. Do need to be a little bit careful. Um, our tank's still quite weak here at the moment. I took another daze as well. I'm gonna ascend this unit, and 
I need to start stacking armor here, so I'm actually going to torch this unit. Just for the can trigger. Um, this doesn't do much, but let's play it down here. Alright, uh, so again, just trying to fire off as much as I can to stack the guard. And no reason to play the imp, these will die up to the jack strips, so let's just play a train steward in the middle here. Alright, we get another ascend. Um, yeah, 11 at the moment. So. Because these are already dying and I'm not going to kill them anyway, I may as well torch the boss and fire off one lands. That's just a question of whether I'd like to stack this thing up on the next floor, and I guess there's no reason not to. It does do damage, but it's not a lot. Let's definitely start with an offering token. Uh, and I I think, yeah, I think this is good. Should have maybe played Torch first. Uh, and I'll play this on this floor, maybe we get some benefit out of it next turn, or maybe we can put it up on the top floor. Well, we can sort of do both. Um, I think I'm happier doing this, and then just making sure the candle's gone, and hopefully this is going to be enough damage. Looks like it is. It's nice. Alright, it's a little bit scary, but um, doing alright here. Uh, Ice Empire could be good, but without a way to freeze it or anything, um, a little less excited about it. Harness Titan, also interesting. We have, again, lots of um, damage spells, so plus 5 power on them is good. Yeah, that could be something I'm interested in. Um, just trying to think what I'm going to take out of this reward. And energy is a little bit of an issue with these candles. Um, so I might go there. In which case, the harness is a little less exciting. Um, our hands aren't going to be so, so big. Tricky spot for sure. Um, yeah, I think I'll just take the big finisher spell here. And then, okay, we have another Titan Sentry Consumer of Crowns. And then a Sweeper that applies spell weakness. Again, not that worried about DPS right now. Um, I may take this. It'll serve as a fine temporary tank while we're setting up, and then we can hopefully put stuff on the guard's floor. Uh, so let's give that a shot. And here again, uh, try to go for energy. All right, and we got a Merchant of Steel with another flag, or a Merchant of Magic with some removes. Both pretty good. We don't really need the flag all that much. Um, though the Merchant of Steel, obviously, pretty good to improve our tank. And then on the following circle, we don't have one. We will want to visit this one because we'll have Dante at that point, I think. Uh, but I think I'll, I'll go ahead and pay a visit to this one first. Uh, Alright, our champion is happy to just pick up more Frostbite, I think? This is a little bit tempting. Um, again, we have all these like frozen lances and torches and stuff um, that could just get played for the incant triggers, but we just picked up extra energy, so I'm not as worried about it. Let's see what's here. Okay, multi strike's good. Um, do I want to pick up one more DPS unit? 
So currently we're looking to go Guard plus one of these guys, plus like Tethys on the top floor, and then Sentry plus another one, plus a Mollusk Mage on the bottom, and then like push stuff up, and then we still have a Dante on the way as well. So, um... <coughs> I don't think we can quite fit all this stuff, even though multi-striking Alpha Fiend is obviously really excellent. I just feel like we're going to be short tanks, uh, so I'm going to skip this. Go ahead and give the multi-strike to our Horned Warrior. Uh, and then give it a Battlestone as well. And health on the guard here is excellent. Large stone. Have to think about that one for a minute. Uh, and attack and health. So I could potentially large stone the sentry just so it lasts a bit longer. It is just a temporary measure after all. Um, it's going to make it harder to fit the mollusk mage in, I guess. But that's kind of it. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, and then the other health thing here. We got another Merchant of Steel here. I really would like the um, the additional encant on the Guardian of the Unnamed over just the straight health. So I might get greedy here and try and do that. Uh, would also really like Endless on Titan Sentry though, so maybe that's even more important. Yeah, well, let's, let's just get health there and then the 10 attack can go on Mollusk Mage, I guess. We've managed to spend literally all of our gold. <coughs> Full health restore, huh? That's scary. We're only at 44 Pyre health. I don't think I can take this. It's just a little bit too much. If we leak anything into the Pyre, uh, it goes back to full health and really wrecks us, so... I'm going to be safe here and uh, skip the challenge. The top floor being smaller is also not great. Okay. So, with that in mind, let me think. We need to play guard up here. And then some stuff behind it. So, how we have. We drew the hidden passage turn one, which is really not helping. Yeah, I think I have to play this up here, uh, play Tethys in the middle. Alright, well there's the guard. Uh, let's go ahead and offering token, get a torch, and... I guess we just kind of plop everything down here. Um, try to send them as soon as possible. Okay, there's a Titan Sentry that's just gonna go hang out on the bottom. Build a blow frostbite for us. And yeah, this is exactly why I didn't want to take the trial. It's because now it's gonna go up here at like 20 health and be totally fine. At full health it would have near killed us, so. Uh, these guys dying is actually sort of awkward. And I don't want a Molting Imp here because I want to build up additional Frostbite. Uh, so let me just pass that. Okay, here's one Ascend. That's good. Um... Let's see, there's two waves left, so we're definitely not getting both ascends done. Um, I think the champion's probably the most important one. And then let's get rid of candle. Ooh, and now there's room for a train steward here. That's good. Alright. 
handle. Let's play one more steward in the front here, and then just fire off some spells. And I think we'll be okay here. Hmm. Well, not a great draw, but it's fine. Sapping this doesn't accomplish a whole lot, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, I guess I'll just stack up some more armor. Pretty good. Man, we really need to give hold over to one of these hidden passages. That would be a pretty big deal. Uh, I think I'm going to take this. It, it's pretty powerful. Inferno Tiresome Climb. Can find a box. Here I'll take Climb. It can be used in our own units in some cases, and it's an alright spell uh, otherwise as well. Uh, Inferno, I think, is going to be a little bit tough for us to use. Though it is good. Alright, here Dante is joining us, and we get a bunch of additional magic power as well, which will um, certainly help with making these torches uh, actually useful throughout the game. The lance is a little bit stronger, the uh, ice and fire is really good now, so that's pretty nice. Don't have a lot of money, so... And I do want to improve our spells. Uh, we'll go this way. Again, holdover would be great. Double stack. Not quite as interested in. I might just do an immediate reroll and fish for the holdover. Um, I think that would be really, really strong. Whereas these are fine, but we'll likely get... Well, I think Emberstone's guaranteed to show up. That's been my experience anyway. Um, let's see, this goes up to like 140 or something. Yeah, I think I have to do it this way. Okay, we got Remove Consume, which doesn't do anything. But we got the exact same two here, so that's mostly fine. Um, let's improve one of these and reduce cost on... Tiresome Climb, maybe? <laughs> Should have maybe checked this first in case we get a spell, but it's fine. Um, don't know if I'm interested in picking this up. Don't think we want the pyre attack, uh, so it's just a question of do we want to pick up a bone shine for some extra pyre health? Is that going to help or hurt? Uh, I don't think this gets affected by magic power. So. I'll grab it. It purges out of the deck, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, just use it. Even if it's not for huge effect. Alright, we got another sweet boss. This is not great. Uh, I will take this. It's still... Um, should be fine with the jack strips, so that's at least pretty free. But the sweet bosses are uh, have really been an issue. Alright, well, there's our Dante. Let's see, these are only attacking for six, which is nice. Um, just trying to think of all the different things we need here. Uh, See, so yeah, I think Titan Sentry goes in the middle floor. Maybe bottom? Hmm. 
Yeah, I think this is fine. And then we'll go Dante plus Tethys, leaving room for our tank. And I'm just gonna use this bone shine so it's out of the way. Bunch of hidden passages. Um, can't quite get them all done, unfortunately. So I get to passage that and then play this. Really not drawing our cards in a fantastic order here, but what can you do? Yeah, Jack Strip's just doing so much work for us. Um, Alright, Candle wants to go. And, boy. Pretty poor draw here. Uh, I'll play the Imp just to get it out of my hand. And I think I guess do one of these as well. Okay, but draw cards in a sort of not great order, right? And of course, I forgot the sweep boss already, so that's gonna wreck a lot of our units here. Um, pretty unfortunate. We get the tiresome climb here. Do I want to send anything? I guess since the boss sweeps, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, if I could somehow get the Guardian Stone to maybe do something relevant, that would be interesting. Um, there's no way to get it up here. It's the tricky bit. Let's see, this is for 9, so right now... Get 6 hits on this, and that's 54 damage. So it gets 7 hits, 63. Hmm. I think just ascending this might be correct. It gives it the daze, which means we get some free hits on it. Um, yeah, that seems fine to me. Kills our bottom floor, but those stewards weren't doing much anyway, and now we get to apply a bunch of damage. Uh, and here, just cast our spells. Obviously would have left the days into the top floor instead of this floor, but at least the majority of the life steal's gone. Let's see how we're doing. 191 is really bad. We do get to improve on it just with spells, but we might still just be dead. Yeah, I don't know that our pyre can handle this much. Um, Sweep really quite bad here. Unfortunately, our unit here just not delivering the amount of damage we need. Alright, looks like we survived just barely. So, um, I guess that's pretty lucky. Um, that was unpleasant. Uh, we're gonna have a tough time from here, but. It is what it is. Uh, so I like both of these options. Uh, Gifts of the Guard makes some of our crappy torches and stuff really, really strong. So I'm a fan of that, though it does reduce our deck size, which just means we're going to be drawing Dante's Candles that much more often. It can also permanently kill our hidden passages, which is a little bit awkward. Preserve might be good, though. That lets us freeze either a passage or a creature we want to passage down the road. Um, so I think I'll take that. Right, another Inferno, an Impish Scholar, and a Branding, right? Impish Scholar, I don't think, returns anything? Yeah, there's nothing with Consume right now. 
Uh, this is not great with spell power and Inferno again. Um, I mean, it could do something, but like we're not really using the bottom floor, I guess, typically, but I'm still just not sold on it in this deck. So now I'm in a bit of a tricky situation. Um, this Pyre Health would be obviously hugely beneficial, um, but going to a Merchant of Steel and improving Dante also would go a long way. Uh, Dante is not very good right now. But there is another Merchant of Steel immediately after, so I think I'm just going to take the safer route. Uh, be a little bit sad. Ooh, those are both interesting. Um, Dante having additional upgrade slots is enormous. Uh, this is pretty good, though. Again, Freezing's pretty strong with some of the cards in our deck. But I think I'll take the housing here. Uh, and then... It's between duplicating Dante or a Hidden Passage. If this were improved, it would be a pretty easy duplicate. As is, it's a bit tougher. I think I just need more passages. Yeah, already glad uh, I picked up this Pyre Health, because these guys are unlikely to really die at any point here. Uh, okay, so... Oh, the top floor is smaller. That's awkward yet again. Might actually look to pick up space here, uh, just to make this setup a little bit simpler. Um, but for now, we have to figure out what we're doing. <clears throat> I could utilize the bottom floor as our staging area and try to set up in the middle. So what would that look like? Um, so that would be something like Tethys and Dante in the middle and this guy on the bottom for now. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Um, I'd love to play the steward here if I can guarantee that it's going to die, but unfortunately I can't do that, so I think I just don't get to play it. Um, this frozen lances aren't going to amount to much. I guess I can play this at the top, maybe. Might as well sit there. Alright. Uh, well, this preserve not doing much yet, but let's see if we get to play the Titan Sentry down on the bottom. Should help a little bit. Um, and then. Play your second steward. You're the candle. And I'm gonna freeze this card. So once we get a. Um, once we get our, our passages and stuff, we can deploy it down at the bottom. Under tank, that's useful. So I want to do that. Um, this is unfortunately getting through, so uh, Pyre Health proving useful here. This would have killed us, but let's see. Um, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and send this. Play the other Horned Warrior, and then I guess just play a Frozen Lance. Unimproved Dante, really. Just not delivering. Oof, that hurt. Um, okay, well, we get another hidden passage, so I'll deploy that. Uh, I guess play a Guardian Stone here. Then 
forge actually here. And that should kill uh, then with the jack strips. And I mean, sure, you can deal some damage, why not? Not a great draw with these candles. Uh, let's see. Not quite sure how the math works out here, but I think I like just casting additional spells. It. Seems okay to me. And I guess we'll just sap here rather than playing the lands. Stunned for a little bit of a hard time with this guy. Um, it's gonna hit for eight a hit, so our pirate has to kill within two hits, which should do with the frostbite, but it's uh, awfully close. Let's go ahead and ascend this, and then get going here. Uh, it's fine, and I need to torch this. Let's just do the math. So it's going to take two hits from the Pyre, that's 60. Um, right now it's effectively at 79 minus 7, 72, and it's going to hit for 11. So we do actually need to torch it in order to survive. Right, barely making it, but that's what it is. I mean, this thing deals damage. I guess I'll ascend it. Not precisely how I drew it up, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, they want to ascend the boss. I think I'd rather have a chance to cast more spells next turn. Even though the daze is pretty good. Maybe that was better. doesn't do much, so just fire off all of these. Our training steward bravely fighting his way to that statue. Alright, looks like we just barely make it here at one health. Siren Song, Transcend Imps, Spike. I don't think Transcend Imps doing much for us. Um, yeah, we don't really have summons other than the other two Imps. Not too interested in Spike, so it's Siren Song or just nothing. And I think Siren Song's probably a fine pickup. Uh, and yeah, I think I might go for the Light of Seraph. It just makes setup a little bit easier. Let's just fit some extra of these one slot units um, to begin with, so we don't have to do quite as much moving around. Alright, and now we're 100% heading for the Merchant of Steel. Let's see what our champion gets as well. Okay, I'll just continue stacking Big Frostbite. Endless! Uh, Alright, we got an extra slot. That's kind of nice. So Endless on the Titan Sentry is definitely good. 25 health on one of these two. I'll go with this. Um, maybe save this for another encant or something. And with so many upgrade slots, we can't really afford to be skipping stuff, so I'll take the rage on maybe Dante. It'll fall off over time, but it makes him insane initially. 
10 attack, obviously insane on Dante. Uh, Battle Stone can go on Mollusk Mage. Don't know about this large stone. I could put a second one on Titan Sentry, but that's a little bit insane. Um, put one on Dante. But I think the large stone might just be a skip here, unfortunately. Let's see if we find it in the cavern. Ooh, alright. Well, should have picked it up, I guess. Um, so I can make something small, or I can make something absolutely enormous and absolutely terrifying. A 43 attack Dante is tempting, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's a pretty absurd amount of damage with 6 multi strike. How can we arrange our floors at that point, though? We can't ever fit Dante plus Titan Sentry on one floor, so Dante would just kind of have to hang on his own, which is a little bit scary. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that just makes things a little bit too awkward. I'll have to go with the small stone. On on the sentry, I guess, just because it's already pretty big. Man, yeah, I wish I had picked a large stone, but hindsight and all that. Can I maybe pick it up on something else now? Now this is smaller. Um, so if we assume one of the floors we're setting up on is a five, because that's commonly going to happen then we get to fit like guard plus let's say Dante and Tethys on one floor um, and then this would have five slots behind it so I could fit like one two three and we also have this guardian stone I still don't think I can do the large stone we just have too many units So with that, we'll continue forward. Here's another Merchant of Steel coming up. I guess this is the last boss. Okay, well. Um, let's see if we can make it that far. Another restore full health, huh? Ooh, I want this money, but this is still scary. I think too much so to turn on. Okay, well, we get two full floors, which is nice. Um, let's see. So, one, two, four, six. Uh, I think I'll start with these guys at the top. Uh, I can play an imp here, and then I'll at least take out the multi striker on the floor change. Definitely helpful. Alright, and here we'll just um, blow these two. Uh, yeah, let's get our cash. Why not? And this is pretty much useless, so let's just toss it out there. like Sentry here, obviously like Dante here, and we'll go ahead and move him, which gets us a kill here, that's great. Candles. Uh, let's see. How badly is this dying? It's a question of whether we played the Sworn Warrior. Um, this multi strikes doing a lot here. So this is 20. Um, 
41. So I think the Horned Warrior survives. My math's not too badly off. Yeah, it takes, a little, takes some damage, but that's fine. Uh, and here we'll just continue canting as much as possible. Definitely replay this, definitely play Hidden Passage, and continue encanting. are not amazing draws. Um, send this, I suppose. And play another train, Stuart. Alright, looks like we're killing already, but like to run up the score a little bit, though can't do it much in this case. Frenzied Swarm, Deep Offering, Named Tome. I don't think I'm too interested in any of these. Uh, skip. And not interested in him synergies either. And definitely go over to the Merchant of Steel, try to polish her units off. It also gives us extra cash. It's pretty good. So we find here frozen cards are reduced, frostbite, gain energy when you discard a card. None of this is too exciting. I might reroll and look for something else, but I might just look to spend a lot of money here. Uh, this multi-strike is great. Let's put that on you. A battle stone. Let me actually count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we do have enough space to play all these units. Uh, battle stone there, I guess. And 10 more attack on Dante, obviously huge. God, large stone every time. This is pretty frustrating. Um, Alright, so we'll give this extra health at this point, and then add a rage to the Horned Warrior, maybe. Uh, make some removes. Obviously, these train stewards... Not, not doing great. We do have room to at least dump them, but I'd rather just have them out of the deck, I think. There's not really any spells that are so horrendous in the deck. Even the torches are pretty good right now with the cloak, so I'll just dump all the train stewards that I can. Alright. And here we go. Let's see if we can put out enough damage through uh, this version of the boss. It might be tough. We do have a lot of stuff that relies on multi-strike. So the top floor is going to be the smaller one. Um, I might try to set up in the middle. It gives our Frostbite a little bit of extra time to work, which is nice. Yeah, let's, let's try it that way. Those plants, candles, unfortunately not doing anything. Right. Well, poor time for a hidden passage. Uh, that said, let's see. I think Dante wants to be in the back. I think as much as possible. It's definitely our best damage. And torch this multi-striker. 
We are taking a lot of damage here. Um, let's also ascend you. That'll kill and reduce some damage. This is dying, which is bad. Let's see, one, two, three. So I want to torch again. Hopefully that makes us survive. And now we'll get to have the um, crossbite start rolling in, which will be good. But our tank in quite a bit of trouble here right now. Can't play the Sworn Warrior, it won't get to survive, unfortunately. So we'll just play all the spells we can. Have to replay the sentry, and then the offering token. Just discard the expensive card and play the others. Um, we can climb this maybe. Freeze this passage, likely. Uh, though we might need to use it to make this guard survive right now. Let's start with this. Okay, we're still dying. Um, man, that's awkward. Not that many waves left either. I think we've probably lost this. Not drawing the Guardian Stone wasn't great. I just didn't generate enough armor and got hit a little too hard. Almost on the last wave here, um, I think what may be the correct play is to let the guard... Oh no, I can't do that. It's not enough space. I guess I could let both these front units die and then play our Titan Sentry um, up a floor. That might actually be the way to do it. Dante's Candle next, okay. I guess I also have a problem in that uh, we're not killing fast enough here. I need to make sure a pirate doesn't die somehow. But there isn't a ton I can do about that. This will die on its own. So, these guys are coming in for 10, 10, 15. So I need these to hit that, so I need this to not get above 10. Which means I get to cast two spells, so we'll go... 1... 2, I think. And... I think I freeze the Guardian's amulet, maybe? Okay, 
drew the Siren Song, that's useful. Um, play this. I have to play the Siren Song. Not even sure if it's gonna be enough, but here's hoping. <laughs> um, God, this is hard. Hidden Passage, pretty useless at this point. Can I just get this out of the way? I don't imagine us winning this. This is really, really, really bad. <laughs> Our tank's gonna live for like a round. close to anything. Wow, that uh, was not great. Alright, well that's a disappointing loss. Um, just had a hard time keeping our tank alive. I guess we needed a little bit more damage against the backline units than what we had. Didn't draw the Frostbite unit early. We just ended up taking too much damage and not being able to sustain our super floor, so... Uh, pretty rough run. Had uh, several sweet bosses in there too that kind of screwed with my ability to take the paths I wanted and uh, take the trials I wanted. So that wasn't great, um, but... Nevertheless, sort of interesting. Dante, kind of underperforming. Lots of interesting choices along the way, too. We skipped a bunch of large stones. We had the major refraction stone as well. Could have maybe done something with all that that would have ended up stronger than where we ended up. Uh, so I do feel like that was a winnable run that maybe we made some wrong decisions on. Hopefully you can learn from that in the future. Uh, for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.